many of us today was a glorious day, plenty of sunshine around. And what many of us will see tomorrow for tomorrow will be wet, windy, mild, yes. Uh, but rather perversely, there will also be a significant snow event in some areas. Let's take a look at the big picture. Here was, in fact, that uh, rather clear slot of weather there. The British Isles standing out very nicely. But even as I speak, the cloud is thickening all the while across the western side of the British Isles. And it's already producing a wee bit of rain across Northern Ireland and the western fringes of Scotland, England and Wales. The blue feather to the east is indicative of a frost. The temperature's already sub-zero in the northeast of Scotland. And as this mild air pumps in from the Atlantic, runs into that cold air, well, that's where we're going to get the significant snowfall on the high ground in the north of England and across Scotland too. And what is going to be a chilly old night in the east, always that bit milder out towards the west. So how do we start the new day? Well, the snow not just going to be confined to the high ground for a time, although on the high ground this is where we could see 10 to 15 centimetres. Uh, at lower levels out towards the west we could see up to 60 millimetres of rain falling there. The snow also for a time there across the north of the Pennines. And wherever you are across central and eastern parts of the British Isles in the first part of the day, as I'm sure you're getting the indication there from the graphics, it is going to be a thoroughly miserable start to the day. No sunshine to be had here at all. As we come back towards the west, perhaps it looks a little bit drier, but here we're just beginning to pick up on that really mild air, so murky conditions over the moors and the tors, bits and pieces of rain and drizzle, similar sort of prospect getting into the west of the Wales area. And as we get into Northern Ireland, perhaps the rain easing here for a time as well. Uh, but we'd rather go sort of heavy rain, drizzly stuff, and then another belt of weather as I take you on through the morning on into the afternoon will manifest itself out towards the west. Eventually this will drive across all parts as well, just pepping up that rain for a time. But with the winds in the southwest, it is going to be a mild day, save for the north east of Scotland, temperatures well above the seasonal average at 11, 12, possibly even 13 if you do see a wee bit of sunshine. Now through Tuesday night and on into Wednesday, we push those fronts away, see the number of isobars, always a good indication of the strength of the wind there, and it will be a gusty old day. So big numbers there, and you have to add in the gusts as well, and the showers merging together at times to give some longer spells of rain. A very unsettled spell of